Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel for another video on Gran Turismo 7. We're back with another track guide. This time we're at Daily Race C in Group 4 at Nürburgring on the racing medium tyre for the time trial guide. Now this guide is purely based on time trial. Obviously in the race it's a no-stop race, fuel saving on hard tyres only. So if you're doing the race, you might want to swap over to the Subaru. But this car actually can compete in the race conditions if you can get really clever with your fuel saving but this guide is going to be basically showing you the ultimate way to get a lap done in terms of getting the most out of the alpha now i didn't push this massively we did it in a very quick qualifying session time trial session yesterday in the stream so we can probably go a little bit faster i predict three four attempts quicker as possible but it should give you an idea of how you can get the most out of this four wheel drive alpha around the nurburgring gp track so if you do enjoy this video if it helps you out give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit that notification button then you won't miss any future videos and let's get on with this guide showing you how to get a faster lap time at Nürburgring in group four so first of all four wheel drive obviously the dominant car at this track and the alpha is used for the time trial mainly because obviously the second third and fourth gear are very strong in this car and this track has a lot of them acceleration zones so that is why in time trial people are using this car over the subaru but obviously for the race i prefer the subaru it's a little bit easier to do the fuel saving now for the first breaking point, we are going to be looking for the 100 board on the left hand side. Now this corner is basically the major corner for overtakes on this track. So you can break right up to this 100 board and you can actually break a little bit further than what I've done here because you can push it out wide if you really want to get an overtake done into turn one. But trail break it into the corner until we get onto that apex. You can see you can actually attack the apex massively. P1 in the world really going over that curb i go a little bit more cautious there taking quite a bit off it but not as much early on the throttle you have to be super early on the throttle in these group four cars you can really stomp on that accelerator and get that power down super early and again here we're just going to lift off the throttle tiny bit of braking input going in that's basically just to get the weight transferred to the front tires that'll enable you to get on the throttle again a little bit early on this apex so again as soon as we feel the grip there very early on that aggressively on that throttle because you want to get that power down in these four wheel drive cars now you can run out quite wide on this exit here i don't really use the full whip what you can use using the end of the green astro as a reference i break just before that and then rotating it into this apex now this corner here is very important to get it slowed down and then get it rotating in so trail breaking into the corner to rotate the car and then you can really attack this left hand corner here you can see left hand tire onto the cobblestone part and then get that car rotating and then early on the throttle again, really get aggressive on the throttle. It'll help rotate the car, help shift to third gear. And then just as we're going over this curve on the right side, you can see I give a brief little lift off the throttle and then back on the throttle for the exit. Now you can run out quite far wide here. For some reason, PD seem to class this as a track limit. They don't give you dirty tires. So there's no off track dirty tire penalty. And then yeah, as long as you get the car back over the track here, you don't get any penalty and you work your way into the next braking zone. So at this point, we're using this tarmac where the sprint layout goes at the end of that part there. I'm going to use that as a reference for braking. Braking just past it. So you see braking inputs going in just as we're going past the end of the tarmac there. And again, this corner, you're going to trail brake in, getting that weight transferred to the front tires down to third gear and then back on the throttle as the grip builds up and then sw switch the car back to the left hand side. This is all about rotating the transfer on the car of the weight and getting it to go back to the right. So as soon as we see the start of the front of the curb on the right hand side, that's where we're using as a brake reference onto the brakes. And now again, trail brake down as we go into this apex. And then once the grip's there, on the throttle, super early, you have to be so aggressive with the throttle with four, four wheel drive cars. That's where your pace will come with these cars. Super early on the throttle, get that power down and get the traction out of these corners. Again, next braking zone, this tight hairpin, we're looking to break just past the start of this little cobblestone on the left hand side depending on how fast the car is obviously you break a little bit further the group four we can break quite far past here because it's not the fastest car and we're going to go down through the gears down into second gear as we approach the apex so now into second gear that rotates the car on the apex i like to take a very narrow line through this corner and then get on the throttle super early and then let that second gear rotate the car and then up to third gear use a bit of the astro on the left hand side there just as you exit the corner now this completely flat out in group four with medium tires you do not need to lift for this corner so throttle completely planted just use your left hand tire to go up onto the curb a little bit just a straight line this as much as possible you want to put as little steering input as possible through this section so it will just scrub less speed off your car and carry a little a little bit more momentum all the way up this uphill section so again 
keeping it in a straight line as possible, smooth inputs with the steering wheel, and then working our way up into the next braking zone, which we're going to use a 100 board on the right hand side. You see it there, 100 board braking just before that 100 board, and then we're going to go down through the gears, trail braking again, and down through the gears into third gear. And then try and get your left hand tire to get over the green astro here and then back on the throttle super early to help with the rotation because that throttle really helps rotate the car so third gear full throttle rotates the car swinging it back over to the left hand side to swing it back into the right hand corner here so you can carry the momentum and get that weight transfer of the car transferring the car through the corner so again tiny bit of braking input going in here you can see just a tab it's not a lot it's just a tiny tap of the brakes just transferring the weight and then back on the throttle in third gear powering out of this corner use some of the astro on the left hand side for the left hand tire don't be scared to use some of that it'll help with an extra bit of speed all the way on the exit and now we're going flat out on this straight make sure you shift in this car about 80 85 percent as well you don't want to rev it out fully and then we're looking for the next braking point which is the 100 board there we're braking just about dead on that 100 board so you can see as we go forward braking input starting to go in there just on the 100 board you can just see a faint line there and now we're going to be attacking this chicane. A lot of time to be gained with this chicane with the track limits. So keep an eye on this. As we come through here, you're going to see you want your front middle of the car to go over the first part of the curb there. You can see really attacking it. And then you're aiming for that bollard that you can see in the distance there. This bollard here, if you get, aim to get your middle of your car over that and just go straight over it, you will not get a penalty and you can carry a lot of momentum through the corner. Get on the throttle nice and early. Try not to run too far wide. I run a little bit wide. They'll probably lose a tenth or so, but not too bad as we come into the final corner. Now, again, this corner, I do it by visual reference because there isn't a massive visual reference for braking. I prefer to keep my eye on the apex, brake so that I know I'm braking in time, and then down to second gear, let the car rotate, and then upshift sorry power and then upshift to third gear and then work your way to the finishing line just let make sure you rev in this car about 85 percent you'll see it here about 85 percent and then over the line for a 201.820 now i'm pretty sure we can go at least three tenths quicker than that because it wasn't a perfect lap we did it on stream it's just a quick run around the track and yeah a lot more potential to come with that so we're going to watch this lap again and I'm going to point out again, the major. we'll give you some idea of where you're going to do your most overtaking at this track. Obviously, turn one here. This is where you're going to get most of the overtakes done into turn one. 100 board, you can break on the inside and then you can go deep into this corner. You can see how much track you've got available to you. It's really wide, many different lines available. And you can carry the overtake on through this corner and then into this next corner. Normally, a move that starts in turn one ends around this corner here trying to get the inside line into this corner. Now, it can carry on also all the way through these corners and end up into the next left hand corner that we're approaching if you get the inside line here you can end up getting a little bit ahead here but again in these type of cars you can end up with a lot of two by twos all the way through the track again trying to keep the car narrow here and then swinging it in you see how we use the full width for the track there to swing it into this right hand corner and then on the power early now if you get a good exit there this corner up here is another good overtaking opportunity if you can get a little fake going onto the right hand side get the inside line and then just take a really tight apex there's loads of grip on this inside that's why i tend to follow this very tight line through that corner and you can very easily get an overtake on there and again there is another overtaking opportunity at this track but you have to be very very clever with getting the slipstream all the way up this hill you have to get the right distance and then get the car onto the left hand side here and then go for a move in the braking zone and you can actually again brake quite late but you have to be careful you don't go too deep on the brakes into this corner if you're going for a move there and again a move that starts there can often end in this corner here it's not always gone in the corner that you start the move on at this track now out of that corner again this is probably an opportunity but again it's a very difficult opportunity to go for a move because by the time you get into this braking zone you're normally side by side if you're going for an overtake and going side by side with someone through here normally ends in, ends up in a bit of death to be honest or someone getting taken out so just be cautious with that one there this final corner is it can be done if you get the inside line you can definitely go for a move on this inside line here and then you can easily get two cars side by side through that final corner so again they're the points where you can get some overtakes done hopefully that'll help you out let me know in the comment section if this video has helped you out hopefully we can improve you in the time trial and also in the race there and yeah subscribe to the channel and hit that like button see you all soon everyone